place Misused Mistakes Too long Too late Who was that to make you wait? Just one chance Just one breath Just in case There's just one
<laughs> when um, I remember I had a lot of fun hanging out with her in like Shanghai and then like shopping for like underwear and you know? all. We were in like seventh grade. Um, wait, was it ninth grade? No, ninth grade. And um, yeah, we did a lot of fun together when we were younger. And then like um, she's, I feel like she's changed and had grown up. And um, yeah, I just wish her the best of everything. Uh, I'm gonna miss you in college. No one's gonna know about me being tomato or any of those weird nicknames you made up for me. <laughs> so, nothing more. Um, Julia, see, she's not a person I've gotten to know really well until recently. And I think it all started on the basketball court, and it was just how much we had in common. We were both the captains of the volleyball team and the varsity basketball team. We both we both wear number 14. We both got all conference for basketball and volleyball. And it's mean, just like these it's creepy. You made me like my life has grown much easier. Aww. Hi Karen. Mm. Uh, 以后会很想你哦，而且 I won't be able to see you because you're gonna be in Africa. Karen, I hope you like your croissant. I picked it. Um, I'm glad you came to our class. And to me, Karen is a very hardworking girl, and she's also trying to have fun despite the fact that she's probably she probably has to work even harder than the rest of us. Because you know language, and I've gone through that, and I know how difficult that is. But um, when she comes to school every day, she still has this smile on her face, and that just makes me feel like she's such, she's so brave, and just you know she's not giving up. And Karen is very, very smart. Although even though she doesn't talk a lot in math class, but she's obviously very smart. I don't like how she always gets so much higher grades than um, the rest of the boys do. And uh, but she's a really nice person. Henry is a lot of He can act silly sometimes, but he's a really good person, I guess. He's just, he's just a really good person. Henry is probably like the nicest guy I know. He, I've never seen him angry. He's always like happy and really random, jumping up and down, doing that dog thing. He's really nice. And I'll, he wrote my yearbook that I thought I hated him for some reason. I don't hate you, Henry. You're nice. I always liked you. You're cool. We spend a lot of time together. We play video games, play guitar. And I mean, I've seen him grow, grow a lot. He used to be pretty shy, but now it's really good to see him open up and just be more out more of an outgoing person. He's definitely a guy you can always count on. Eric is weird. He's like the weirdest one out of everyone. I got to know him in 10th grade because he keeps getting put into the same group. He's really nice. He's just like the strangest guy. He sings that Hitler song and he says Baba Lou or whatever. He's really random but he's a good guy. His laugh. That, that's that's just what I put together. Eric and his laugh. His laugh is unique. It's loud. It's kind of like high pitched. And it's just. It makes you laugh. His laugh makes you laugh. Erica, 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 well, Erica. 
is very... <laughs> I like the fact when I came to the school that everybody was calling him Tomato and everybody was calling him Erica and I was just like, why? Eric's a very funny person. He's a talented double talker and that comes in very handy when he's explaining something to you and he doesn't want you to understand. Hey Tomato, nice seeing you for the past three years. Good luck with <laughs> Hi Song Hyung, you rock in piano. I didn't know that. You shouldn't hide it like that. So anyway, good luck in the future. Uh, Song Hyung is... Everybody says he's always quiet, but I know he's listening. Whenever I call him the Korean gangster, he always responds. Hey Song Young, how are you? I really like you. And, oh yeah, thank you for letting me your PSP, even though sometimes I feel ball. Ball, no, ball. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's really nice to meet someone who's equally as chubby as you. Yeah. And I've heard some stories about him dorm rooms, picking up chairs, throwing them at people. So who knows what a side he has and how that we don't see in school. Yeah, he just adds like this really great social feel to our classroom. That's why that was so different. Oh, hi. Um, 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 thanks for everything. I'll see you later. Bye. Kevin and the artist of our class, and I mean, at first he just drew a lot of anime. I remember a couple of times we just tried to make our own video game, and he would draw characters for that. Uh, but now I've seen him like expand his repertoire and he start drawing a lot of other stuff using uh, different techniques. And uh, I, mean, I congratulate him for getting a lot of good art colleges. Like I was like the new student who just walked in, and there was Kevin saying hi. I'm Kevin. I'm an artist. I'm cool. No, I'm just kidding. He never said that. But he is a person with opinions, and he really stands up for himself, and that's a really good thing. Oh, hi there, Kevin. I, you know, in the beginning, when I first came to school as my senior, I thought it was go because you're wearing a wig. And it turns out that you were wearing uh, one of the full metal albums very very quick and you were dressing up like this. And um, you like to read mangas too, right? I also like to read mangas. And all of us like to read mangas. But <laughs> I didn't know how to use Photoshop. I got a lot of help from me. And he's the one who shares a hobby with me. So we can talk like each other, you can communicate very well. And this is the this is my first year of the school, so I don't know a lot of things and he helped a lot. So um no Jesse. I think Jesse is very talented in many things. And uh, but I still beat you in music part, even though not, not very good, but then better than you, haha. <laughs> in this whole world, maybe Jesse's like the only guy that I've really ever hated. Oh. And he's always really selfish, annoying. He's very arrogant. Just, oh. Yeah, just put all the negative labels on him and it'll work. Jesse is the classic Asian nerd. He fits all the stereotypes. He's not very tall, he doesn't have very big eyes. He's good at math and science and he plays video games. He's a nerd. But I like Jesse, he's really cool. He makes us smoothies sometimes. You do that for Jesse. Yeah. He's really nice. I like Jesse. Um, Jesse, we've been together as friends for a really long time. Been through a lot together. A lot, a lot, I guess. Um, I pretty much grew up with him and he's like a brother. I mean, sometimes you're angry at him, sometimes he's stupid, but you know, you can't really stay angry at your brother, so yeah.
Jesse. Jesse's always gonna be like a brother. Um, okay, so Caroline. Three years now, I think of it. A lot of things happen in between this time. Like the first, I saw you walking into the school with your back ears from the anime characters on your backpack. And I was kind of excited because back then I was working on my makeup club and all that. So I was excited to see someone. And whenever she has free time, like in between class or something, I always see her with her mirror in her hand and she's like checking her face out. And <laughs> it's really funny. And uh, Caroline, she is really talented and she does not show it off. And yeah, I find that very impressive. She's cool. Um, first, I want to say that this is the girl that I just totally love. And I hang out with her like every day. Um, we talk about just about everything, you know. Um, I first got when I first got to know her that um, she was quiet at first, but as I got to know her better, of course she's not a quiet girl, and you should know that too. Um, my dream is just to go to Japan together with her one day. Okay, first thing, Caroline, you have huge boots. I'm sorry if I'm nervous. <laughs> I love the little love triangle you did last year. That was hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's it. When Mr. Chris made fun of you, Shin, and Kevin, I bet it's really awkward when you're watching this right now, but oh well. <laughs> Christian's really artistic. He's always the one trying to help our class, like, be more united and do things together. And He's really invested in his projects and passionate about it. And that's really cool because you don't see a lot of people with that many people around that are really so passionate about it. And you're actually good at it. It's actually is great Hi, Roshan. It's like a pretty funny moment right now because, yeah, you're filming right in front of me. Like, the first thing I remember about you was when you showed us the video about um, vote for R plus Ocean. It was a really nice video and I was so impressed that you can make such a professional level. And then and then you made the video about Taiwan with the national anthem which makes me really touch. And now you're filming this. I'm gonna treasure this video but the most precious thing I've gotten is Okay, you should know this too, that you're really talkative and very friendly, yeah. Like, I remember the first time I met you, we all thought it was Roshan, and when he went, ran for student council, when we were, the first year when he ran for student council, we all saw the posters, it's like R post Ocean, and everybody was so confused, we were like, Hey, what? Isn't it Roshan? Like, that doesn't really add up. But, yeah, I mean, now you have the R Plus Ocean Productions and it's just the video producer of the class and he's done a lot for like MUN and like now prom and a handful of other ones. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised to see him, his name in the credits somewhere, some movie in the next decade or so. Funny and he knows a lot about ancient Greek and Roman cultures. Um, he's a really nice guy. All I can think of is Star Wars and Julius Caesar. Yes, that's all. He has very narrow interests. Military, Star Wars, Greek. He's It's funny. Uh, he likes to be Caesar. And I remember in ninth grade, he wanted to, he told us he wanted to be a brain surgeon when we, like when he grew up. And all our first thoughts were, you're not gonna eat the brain. <laughs> and he's cold about this. So. Oh, and he wrote a poem in like ninth grade and tenth grade, and it was like, this leaf is green. I'm hungry. I want to eat it. Something like that. So he's a funny guy. I like